All right, let's go. Now, what do you know? We're back. Another episode. Here we are. Thank you. What are we talking about today? Ah, so we just got back. Well, it's been a man, it's been a week already. Yeah. So we're back uh, from Trail Hero. So we're going to recap our Trail Hero experience a little bit for you. And hopefully this will be out before Trail Hero 2025. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Uh, all right. So we went to Trail Hero two weeks ago now. Almost, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we left. We, man, we drove. It's quite a drive for us. It says eight and a half hours, but it takes us ten, ten and a half. Uh, fuel, and I just drive like an old man. Safety's no accident. And what was it, a thousand miles round trip? Yeah, 1,100 about. Mm. Somewhere right around there. So, we drove out on Tuesday. No, no real issues, I don't think, getting out there, did we? Not on the way out, no. Couple things beforehand. I had to change a lug stud on a trailer. I think that was it. Nothing, nothing crazy, which is good. Um, got there. Had a nice little Airbnb. Weirdest streets I've seen. Five way stop. <laughs> uh, that was kind of crazy. Um, but it was great. It was a nice place. I liked it. Uh, and then what? Headed out Wednesday. Yeah, got registered and uh, went out to line up. Registration was pretty easy. Super easy. You know, although I realized they owe me two more plaques. Hmm. I paid for them. Yeah, you need to grab a couple of strangers the next time you line up for registration for that kind of stuff. Well, I think maybe the other lady would have been happy to give them to me. But anyways, the plaques are pretty cool. I looked at it finally. I finally opened mine yesterday. It's cool. I found the one from last year. Out there today. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, so we registered, we went out, uh, and, uh, the first trail we did was Unforgiven. I don't remember. Was that, is that this? Yeah, that's on that one. All right, with Cheddar. That's the Orange Bronco. That's a great name for it. Uh, that guy had some pretty cool things in it. He had the, uh, detachable it's quick pretty, release yeah. flag. Whole holding yeah. thing. Had some cool storage stuff. Pretty tricked out. Yeah, the, the the storage packs that slid out were really nice. Aluminum, I think. So, uh, what about this trail? I don't really remember this trail. Well, uh, we were told that morning that it was a solid eight by the trail boss, and yeah, I think it was a solid eight. It's a good trail. It's fun. Had some. Um, couple of bonus lines that we did that were challenging. So, yeah, it was fun. Right. Realized, I don't know how far we were in, but my steering came loose. Pretty, pretty much near the end. We were hearing it pop. Well, your steering came loose about the middle before we realized the other thing. When was we pulled on. over and fixed it, man, it was loose, loose. Fixed it, looked at everything. But it had come loose on the last trip, right? When we went down yeah. to pre-run the Chili Challenge trails. Yeah. It fell apart. Yeah, yeah. The, the Pittman arm. And then, yeah. The so drag when, link, that yeah. bolt came out. Yeah, so when it happened um, that day, like, why is, you know, what, what's going on? Like, why is this undoing itself? So, mystery solved. A little bit later on, right? Oh, man. So heard some bad noises coming from underneath. It couldn't quite figure out what it was. And we stopped and looked and looked and looked. And finally, you saw it. 
the uh, what do we see first? The passenger side. Um, yeah. Passenger side upper control arm had ripped off the frame. Yeah, the bracket was torn off. Torn off, and then I don't know if we found it then or the next day. Well, when we got it in Kevin's garage. Okay, so the next day, uh, yeah, we looked at the driver's side and it had ripped off too. So that explained why my steering kept coming apart. So we missed Thursday. We were supposed to do front range. I think it was a eight rated trail. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know anything about the trail, really. I don't either. No, okay, so we missed it. I don't know who was on it. I hope they missed us. Um, but we got up, spent the day um, at Kevin's house uh, at crazy underscore K dot S. Um, he was kind enough to let us use his garage and his tools and his welder. Um, and we put Humpty Dumpty back together. It took us pretty much all day. Um, man, but it was, it was nice. I'm glad he used the garage because it was hot this year. Man, it was... Yeah, it was a hundred every every day we were out there. Yeah, it was a scorcher. So, uh, but yeah, very thankful to him for letting us use his equipment um, in his garage. It was nice doing it on on the garage in the shade. Um, but man, you got it put back together, and I think it's gonna hold one more trip, and then we'll make some executive decisions from there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do, but. Uh, but also uh, Jeremy at Hickey Belt was there uh, for moral support. And Lori at Lori Hicks was there. L-O-R-Y-H-I-X. Um, they brought me coffee, which you have referred to as ice cream, which makes sense. I don't know. How am I? I yeah, that's what you... Uh, I like my coffee. 10 ounces of coffee, 2 ounces of cream. In a 10-ounce cup, I like 2 ounces of cream, 2 ounces of sugar. Two ounces of coffee, mix it up, put ice, and then fill the rest with coffee. Yeah. Well, sounds pretty good. It was, yeah, it was delicious. Um, <clears throat> so we spent the day Thursday there. Uh, when we were done, what did we do? We went to the vendor show, right? Mm-hmm. For a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Anything happening there that we did? Spent money I shouldn't have. What did you buy? On that I'm, day. I'm not naming names. Maybe something good, maybe something bad. Who knows? I bought a hose, I think, on that day from Tire Flight. Tire Flight, right? No, I think it's Tire Right. Tire Right. Tire yeah. Right. Yeah, I like their hose. It's really, what's, I don't know what to call it. It's not a hard hose, it's, it's yeah, collapsible. It's, more flexible stores in a smaller space. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. ends, light. Yeah, I might actually fill up my tires with it and try, try it out and see. Um. Yeah. So then uh, Friday, Friday was a day. Uh, we went out and ran chain reaction. Uh, we lined up a little intimidating. Yeah, we were the only two rigs that had a body. And it's a bunch of rear steer buggies. With a rear steer buggy crew. A couple of drag axles. It was yeah. uh, Jeremy, and uh, I think there was one other in front of me that had a drag axle. I think there were two in front and Jeremy. I think there were yeah. three total. Um, and then six or seven probably rear steers. wasn't a big group. Um, it was a cool trail. And the first two obstacles are no joke. Even the bypass... Yeah, I mean, that, that's a serious trail. Uh, you think if we just went out and had the time, you think we could figure out the first obstacle? Uh, well, maybe, you know. You think we can... If you had all day, <laughs> you know, and nobody waiting on you to yeah, yeah. do the if, math. Yeah, yeah, if nobody was waiting on us, right? right? You, you might find a line. Yeah, I think, and and you might not. You might spend the whole day on there and, and never find a line. I don't know. I th I think it's interesting. What I learned from that trail finally is that, you know, and and man, I don't know. I mean, our, our tail gunner, 
Um, man, he was very laid back. And he said, yeah, you can do it. There's a line that's the only way you get better. But I don't know if that's really true. Like, I don't know if our Jeeps well, are... it's not exactly what he said. But... Um, that's exactly what he said. No, he said, you should try everything. No, to me, he said that. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. I, I, admit, I, I wasn't there for that part. Yeah. But um, yeah, you know, I mean, when, when I'm watching, you know, rear steer buggies flop... And they can't get up this thing. You know, and I'm sitting there in my rig. I'm like, okay. I'll take the, you know, the other one that also scares the shit out of me. But I'll, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're going to be here all day. Yeah, I think that's what I learned, though, is that, like, there's a real... I mean, I think I always knew it. But seeing that kind of trail, there's a real limitation. Not, Not our driving skill, maybe, for once. A real limitation on our vehicles, on what they are capable of articulating and being able to get up something like that. Well, speak for yourself. I don't think I have the skill either. <laughs> I mean, I think you do <laughs> <laughs> at this point, right? Um, <clears throat> you know, but uh, yeah, I was that there's the vehicle finally was a real limitation in something like that. Um, you know, on the first obstacle and then the second obstacle as well. So, well, you know, I, there may be a line there, but right, um, like you said, it's gonna it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be some work, and you know, trial and error, maybe catastrophic error. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but yeah, yeah I mean, when, I think... when you're when you're out on you know on a on a on a trail like that an event and and you're with a group you can't can't hold them all back but if we lived there i mean we'd probably go out and yeah get some tires on it look at some things and probably still go around but <laughs> give it a try <laughs> yeah uh but that was a good trail it was a, it was a it was a fun time um wasn't a big group so that was great too everybody was pretty cool um so that was good think we might have gone to the vendor show again after you bought some more stuff i did not i restrained uh and saturday saturday was the big day i think we i kind of forgot why we signed up for it um well i think the maze is a you know it's like you know you're going all the way out there that's a that's a fun trail you know it's a great trip. Do it. We're out there for, you know, five days. You might as well hit it. At least for me, I'm not tired of it yet. No, no. no. I I thought um, it was great. It was just forty five rigs probably on it. Yeah, that was a that was a little bit of a shock. You know, I I thought it would be you know, big twenty, twenty five. I didn't think forty five. Yeah. Yeah. And then and what did we finish with, like 17? Yeah, yeah. Um, some people broke and had to head out from that. Um, but that was the same last year. You know, a lot of, I mean, people pull, they peel off at different uh, stages of that trail. Yeah. Well, that's a good trail, man. I like it. It's crazy stuff all through it, right? Like the drops are crazy. The climbs are crazy. The... Hard turns are crazy. Um, you know, everything about it's pretty crazy. Um, and a lot of uh, optional stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. All over it. So, uh, but that was a great time. We were there till, oh, I guess real quick on Friday, while I'm thinking about it, what did we do after Chain Reaction? Stopped and watched a little bit of We Rock. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Um, saw Caitlin of Crazy KS, uh, running her buggy with, uh, Colt Build It. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, man, it was hot though. Uh, but that was cool. Saw some other rigs doing some crazy things. Uh, but that was cool. So then ran the maze and then what? What did we do? That was it. Vendor show again. We went to the vendor show a lot. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, last year we missed you know, it every time. We missed it. Almost. 
pretty much totally and so yeah this time we we had it three days I think uh, yeah so and then Sunday we returned back so it's a good trip kind of a long trip but worth it worth every second of it um, what do you think of the trails good we did uh, you know harder trails again this year uh, so more of a challenge and yeah it was fun I mean the, you know the maze we've done a couple times already but is that our third time yeah so I have looked at you gotta be nuts three times now mm-hmm. okay so um, it's the same yeah <laughs> Still didn't do it. Um, I think we had good leaders on all the trails. Yeah. They were good, knew how to get people through them. Pretty chill. Yeah, nothing crazy, um, unless it needed to be, right? Uh, all, all good advice. So. Yeah. I think the group sizes, with the exception of the maze, was about right. Yeah. You know, I, I we knew the maze was going to be big, right? It was led by Chuck Converse and have a chance to will with him mm -hmm. i mean you got to take it right like um and the motor belt crew was with them so um yeah but i mean i'm we knew we knew what we were getting ourselves into so it wasn't bad yeah right um what else we saw andy from uh the rockstar crew was on that trail that day too yeah it was surprising we didn't see Robert. Robert was there. Bucket of Bolts. Underscore CJ7. Um, you know, we didn't see a lot of the Rockstar crew this time, right? We didn't see... Mm -hmm. um, Texas Jeep Raider. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's a big... Texas Jeep girl. It's a big yeah, event. I didn't even I mean, see him, though. Like A I lot of people him. that were there that I, I, I didn't know were there. Yeah, I was looking for them, and I saw Teton Family Adventures. They were two lanes over from us one day. I saw that picture of the TNT guy out there again, but didn't see him on the trail. We weren't on a trail with him. But who did we see? I don't know. I don't remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> We saw some people. We did some some things. Drove on some rocks. Uh, what's what's the crash fab guy's name? Justin. Justin. So we talked with him. He's a nice guy. Um, Chuck Converse, of course. Man, he was great. He's a great trail le re uh, leader for the size of that group. He kept it moving. He made good decisions. It was it was great. Um, I don't know who else. Anybody? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Obsessed Jeep Girl mm -hmm. was there. I don't know. All right. Uh, all right. So this is our... The Popo was there. Oh, we got accosted by the... By the law. By the, the law. The man. We had, We saw some people we knew. We had just finished watching some We Rock. We were headed out. We saw someone we knew. We turned around, parked. We were parked and talking, and then the police, or the park ranger, I think it was both. I think it was one of each. The fuzz came up and harassed us. The cheese. <laughs> and I don't know what they told you. They each went to us. And, of course, the person that went, came to me went to the wrong side. Uh, and then she realized well, her mistake and came back around. She went to the right side. You just happened to be on the wrong side oh. with the steering wheel on the wrong so side. So I'm wrong. Okay. Um, man, and she's like, do you have your off-road or off-highway sticker? And I was like, I don't know what that is. Do I need one? I didn't think I needed one. And she's like, yeah, you need to have one on your, your rig here. And I was like... Okay, why is that? And she kind of froze for a minute. I was like, wait, 
is this because I don't have a license plate? And she's like, yeah. It's like, oh, shit, I have a license plate. Hold on. Um, so my license plate's pretty tore up and have been ripped off multiple times at this point. So it's just in the back of my Jeep. So I got out and showed it to her, and everything was okay. Yeah. So, but that was fun. Uh, I mean, I'm glad they were out there, but safety. Safety's no accident. So. Uh, and they didn't shoot us. If it had been, if it had been in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we'd probably be shot. So I'm like, oh, let me let me get out and show you my my license plate. And he's like, yeah, okay, cool. I just hopped out and you know reached in, <laughs> pulled it out, and there was no like, show me your hands. What are you reaching for? Yeah, yeah. You know, it was they were very cool. Yeah, mine was like I had to drop the tailgate and pull shit out to get it out. But whatever. I mean, it was all right. All right, so this is our third trip. To San Hollow. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first time we went out with Jeremy and Kevin, and fantastic time. Second time was Trail Hero last year. Third time Trail Hero this year. We can do it again. I don't know. Um, it's a great event. It's very well organized. Um, I mean, for the size of it, it's. Man, they really have Extremely it right. Extremely well organized. People go through the tunnel at the exact mm-hmm. times. They keep it moving. There's no pileups. Getting out to the trails, right? When you break down, it is what it is. But, yeah, they they run it pretty well. Yeah, it's it's impressive. Um, and if you haven't gone, I, you know. And you should go. Recommend it can... because, you know, um, you know, anytime you're in, in a new area, Having something that's guided, you know, to get your feet wet with, with, you know, learn your, get your bearings. I don't know. I think it's good. I like it. You know, I don't want to, you know, get on my phone with some coordinates that, you know, who knows who put on there, right? Yeah. Um, Because there's some sketchy things. Yeah, these crowdsource things and. You know, to go out there and, and get a feel for it with somebody that knows where they're going, knows the lines, all this stuff. That's that's cool. Yeah. So I recommend it. Yeah, I think, man, if you have not been there, I, I think it's better than Moab. Yeah. By a lot. Um, but now that we've been out there a few times, I think uh, I'd, I'd probably go... Outside of a, a big organized event, not because it, it's not a good event, it's a great event, but um, kind of have our bearings and our way around a little bit, and I think we can navigate on our own. Yeah, and we, you know, I think the benefit is you can spend some more time on obstacles, right? And yeah. really try some things that you may not try or want to try to hold everybody up because, you know, there's that pressure of it. And, you know, but yeah, I mean, it was great. But yeah, I, I think anybody that has been thinking about going that hasn't been, it's a must if you live on this side of the country. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I mean, we've been, it, and it's, it's different wheeling. We've talked about this in past episodes, right? It's hard, but in different ways. Right? It's It's crazy, so... Right, like our Arizona trip. That was hard, too, but in a totally different way. Yeah, different terrain. It's Yeah. Plus damage, I guess, for sure. Yeah. Like you... Unless you really... Yeah, unless you really go over... Unless you really blow it. Yeah. Like, it could be bad, right? But less overall damage, kind of. Um... <clears throat> All right. Well, that's pretty much our our wrap up of Trail Hero. Anything else to add? No. Okay. Uh, This might come out beforehand, but our next trip is Chili Challenge. Chili Challenge. Next week. Next week we'll be heading down south and going to be there and run that. So 
looking forward to that. It's going to be another, what, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days, mm-hmm. four days of, of trails. So that should be great. Weather might cool down a little bit for us, which will be nice too. I don't know. What else? See you on the trails. That's it. All right. Get out there. All right. Thanks, everybody. Comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys later. Adios.